Hey, what's happening, YouTube? This is Runner from NotArrogant.com. Just going to give my post fight reaction on UFC on Fox Davis versus Evans. Um, yeah, just gonna go on the fights that I've just watched. Um, let's see, Weidman. Um, Weidman dominated the fight. Well, not dominate the fight. He won the fight. Um, scrappy rounds. Um, not much to this fight, basically. Uh, didn't really show much. It just showed that both fighters gassed in the final rounds. Um, didn't really show much, but when, as I predicted, I thought uh, Weidman would be able to control Damien Meyer, get a few takedowns at the end, and beat him at the striking aspect in some aspects. Um, also, moving on to uh, Chel Sonnen versus Michael the Count Bisbing. Um, this fight uh, didn't go as I expected. Um, got the prediction right, um, Chel Sonnen by a decision, but I think this fight needs to go back to uh, Michael the Count Bisbing. I think Bisbing showed a lot on, showed a heck of a lot of uh, people that he wasn't just going to lay on his back and take a beating from Chel Sonnen. And I think in many aspects, um, this fight isn't about how Chel Sonnen looked. It was how Michael Bisbing could stop Chel Sonnen from implementing his game plan, implementing his game plan until the final round. Um, but if I had to score this fight, I'd give the first round just to Chel Sonnen, second round to Michael Bisbin, and the third round, obviously, to uh, Chel Sonnen. But, like I say, um, this just opens up a lot of um, gaps in um, Chel Sonnen's game. Uh, Bisbin fought well, and he fought hard, and I give him a lot of credit. Even though I do not like Bisbin one little bit, um, I just give him a lot of respect for this fight, because I think he did really well. And he was fighting a very good fighter, and yeah, um, I give I give my hat off to I take my hat off to um, Michael Bisping. It wasn't much as Chael Sonny doing his business, but just taking my hat off to Michael Bisping. Um, anyway, moving on to the main event, uh, which is just doing the post fight reaction or post fight um, talk from uh, Joe Rogan and Rashad Evans. Uh, first round looked. Pretty even till the takedown. Um, Shad Evans um, showed that he had better hands, better wrestling, um, better everything. Got in the first round, got Davis in a mighty cru crucifix. Um, didn't do much damage. Um, second round, let's see. Um, I called it a 10 8 round, or 10 9 round um, to Evans again. Third round, uh, pretty much even, but if I had to give it to anyone, I'd give it to Evans. Um, fourth round, 10-8, 10-9, should I say, to Evans. And last round, 10-9 to Evans. And subsequently, he's won that fight. And he'll be fighting John Jones next. Um, yeah, moving on to the... Well, going back to the other fights. Uh, Rochelle won. Um, Evan Dunham won by... I think it was stoppage by the doctor. And, well, I went... Nah, well, seven and... I think I went nine and or seven and seven, seven and two in this fight card, which I think is pretty decent. Uh, only thing I can really say um, about this fight card is um, I don't like how Fox um, sort out this, how have, have the build up to the fight because you get uh, John Jones and Randy Couture talking about the fight beforehand, and then you just miss completely the guys walking. I like the way that they used to break down the fighter. How many fight win streak they've been on, how their training camp went, who they've been training with, um, just general stuff, the strengths and weaknesses of the fighters. I just missed that bit from, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, I think the way Fox are doing it, it's making it more mainstream for the not avid uh, watcher like myself. It's just making it more mainstream completely. And, well, if it works for the UFC, it works for the UFC. But,. I'm not a fan of how it works out and there's more adverts than anything else. And I think it's just been announced that um, John Jones versus Rashad Evans in Atlanta, a UFC 145. So uh, it's looking good. But from this fight um, with Evans and Davis, I can't really say that D uh, Evans has showed me much that he's going to be able to do what he wants to do with um, John Jones. I think John Jones has got too much for him. Uh, I just think Evans is in a well in hot water basically as long as he's not injured. So 
yeah, that's it. Um, basically, top to bottom from this fight card, um, Chil Sonnen wins, but I think it was Michael, uh, the Camp Bisbing's fight to, well, not to lose, but he showed um, that he can hang with Bisbing and take Bisbing, I mean, take um, Chil Sonnen out of his game plan. Emma Dunham wins uh, by a doctor stoppage after the second round. Uh, Damian Meyer loses again. Um, I had a lot of faith in Meyer, but Weidman's uh, showing pretty good skills, and I think he'll probably fight either uh, Bisbing or Munoz next. But I'd like to see him fight Bisbing because they're coming off. One's coming off a win, one's coming off a loss. Unless he wants to give him a title shot, which I don't think he should get. Because he just shouldn't. I think he should fight Bisbing first. Anyways, um, and Michelle Evans is going to be fighting um, John Jones. And that's it, really. And even though Fox said that it was going to be a two-hour um, show, it's, it's I think it's 25 past three now uh, in the UK, which is 25 minutes over the allotted time. I'm not complaining or anything, but shouldn't they allocate more time for the UFC um, on ESPN in the UK if... They're going to show it. But, yeah, that's it for Runner on Not Arrogant. Oh, I am not arrogant.com. And this is me signing out. Peace.